really good combo and the fact that it's still in this game for him just what can you say man elegant's yeah. on it dude so now he's up against Eon here. So fun fact, guys. While we were setting up, Javi actually brought a keyboard and plugged it in U via USB into the Switch. And it actually works during this part. Yeah, it's funny. So low-key, I want to have a keyboard up on the stream setup because if you can just type everything out, it would, be, it would actually make the tournament go faster. It's true. And there would just be more matches on stream instead of people taking forever to type everything out. And wow, look at Elegant. Adding the little heart to the Lauren tag. Shout what out, a guy, shout man. Shout out to Lauren. Shout out to Lauren. Great, cute couple. It is. There's a lot of and cute couples in Smash. Yeah, for sure. But and they're up there. They're definitely up there in the, yeah, my yeah. tier list. I oh, have oh, a personal oh, tier list. Okay. I'm not going to say it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. I respect yeah. it. They're up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, like top three up there? Top so five? We're going into this match. Like, we got uh, Eon and Elgin. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. Stride's not going to release the info, though. Eon and Elgin. Uh, the, the reason why I like Eon and Charlie versus Elgin, again, I think their Fox play is super good against... Uh, Luigi, Wait, yes. Luigi, but we did see Eon do really well with the, the Pichu earlier, so. And traditionally, um, most Foxes get bodied by Elegant and Con, Con I mean, and that's not even like talking smack about the other Foxes. I think it's a pretty tough matchup. But like you said, I mean, the Foxes that are living in SoCal, they're so used to it. They played against it for so many years. So they're not, they're not afraid. They don't give the character too much respect, which right. I feel like a lot of other Foxes do. Yeah, we saw earlier when you guys squared off, Eon was impeccable with his down air spikes on the Elegant. So, uh, let's see if Elegant has figured out something that he thought about maybe watching uh, Void play this uh, Pichu or play the match against Eon and how he can possibly combat how this is going to go. But he definitely hard struggled, struggled against Eon earlier today. Uh oh, uh oh. Not going to get the combo. And I just feel like Pichu is really hard to get the combo on. Yeah, it's been really difficult for Elegant to really just abuse his combo game against his character. And that's just something that's not good for him because the longer he keeps uh, Pichu alive, the rougher it's going to be. He's not able to just use that combo game and just really oppress his character. Oh. But unsafe up, up B under the stage. Yep, going to catch that high recovery coming out from Eon. And right now, we got Elegant with the lead, but he's off stage. Can he survive this edge guard? This offstage onslaught known as Pichu. Ooh, who doesn't even need the spike hitbox. You're still dead. Yeah, that's going to be a big no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Eon definitely edge guarded him there. Yeah, every time you see that uh, side B come out off stage, he's just going for the down air. But wow, that was clean. 88% unanswered from Elgin. Yeah, and that's the crazy thing. Like, I feel like Luigi's almost for his His horizontal like air mobility is so bad, he's like almost forced to use side B to recover. Dang, he's wow. still going. You gonna keep doing this? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so troll, dude. It, it's actually crazy how fast that move is now. Yeah, it's even better for edge guard. And I feel like right now a lot of people aren't abusing. Like, if Pichu is approaching you with Tijo, you can either just jump over it or you can just parry it into an option. But I mean, it, it is not. It's not super easy to do. So definitely can't blame people not going for it. I oh, like but that. a re -grab. Oh my goodness, he's so tiny, he got past that up smash. Yeah, Pichu looks like he, uh, Pichu looks like he has a very good, uh, ledge hang animation too. Oh, 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 oh he gets the tech, really tech. good stuff. And he, right now, Elegant needs these techs. He, he cannot die off stage. He has to get back on stage because Pichu off stage is just such a monster. Wow, Was that four throw? throw kills too? Okay, we're Everything gonna, kills. We're just gonna fish for the misfire, why not? Oh, he didn't get the tech though, but no tech. Or no jab lock coming out from Eon. And the Thunder Jolts are coming out. Oh, the Nair out of shield. Not off quick of enough. Yep. You're pressing way too many buttons on my face, man. I still got this up smash. All right, so we're back at last stock apiece. Pretty much even here. But Elegant gets the grab with low rage. Oh, his combos are yeah, so new to versus his character. Yeah, it's just not working out. And that's such a big thing for Luigi, getting that grab. Even if you don't kill, like just dealing 80 damage off a grab is... Uh, Pretty good, right, Shrides? Pretty good? I mean, pretty good conversion? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not great. No, I'm just kidding. It's That's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty broken. So, <laughs> like, the fact that he's not getting that. Oh. oh. No, we don't. You don't want to see that. Dang. And you, you saw that on Elegant's face. That was a big yikes from him. Yeah. Honestly, especially, I don't know Eon's not going to take it like a big, at least not outwardly. He's not going to show, like, damn, I really messed that up. But that's, give Elegant a free game. He's like, Elegant's like, damn, I got that, but like, I know he messed up, but still, give him a free game, he's going to take it. He's going to turn it into his own like, momentum train into the next game. So yeah, and I feel like mentally, 
those SDs and those last stock, last hitch situations hit you way harder than like, well, I was getting three stocked anyway, and then I like, well, I like air, directional air dodge my last stock, like whatever, I was going to lose that anyway. Or if they had like a whole stock lead or something, but that was like last stock, last hit. That can be a really big hit to your mentality. Oh. Uh -oh. So the big thing I've been noticing is that Elliot is not able to get the down air me to yeah. meteor in his combos, and that's why he's been struggling so much. But now that he's actually starting to connect those, uh, Eon might have to uh, be a little bit careful here. Right. Oh, the cross up with the forwarder, but the down smash does connect. Oh, and that's one thing to note is those lightnings do ride up the wall, so you can kind of use that with the defense. The forward smash not going to be quite it. Yeah, Elliot, man, he just like seeing the percent. Oh, yikes! Ouch. Dude, he, he is getting... Wow. How many times has Elegant got Pichu dared, man? A like, lot, man. I think mean, he doesn't even feel anything from it anymore. He's like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. deserve to get dared. It, it's like numb at this point, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, I got dared again. Like, yeah. this is this is my life yeah, as a Luigi main. This is my life now. No more Rise and Cyclone. Yep. All right, right now, we got Eon with the stock lead right now Ooh. just racking it up. 45% already on Elegant, and he's still off stage. Gets hit by the back air, and another back air to follow. Wow, this stage is so good for Pichu. Oh, yeah. Oh, and coming back and avoiding Elegant no once jump. again. Okay, oh, instead of the T-Draw, I wonder if he could have just been what? a little... Uh, Are you serious? What happened? He misfired into the ledge there with no jump. Oh. He had to get it there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elegant. Dang, when you, when you have to call upon the misfire gods. Are you serious? Elegant's RNG right, is just unfair. Okay, but he's still at such a big deficit here. Eon has everything going for him, has the huge percentage lead, is on the second stock, catches the roll with the forward tilt here. All right, so, I mean, it's, the plan is not to get grabbed and take a lot of damage. As long as uh, Eon can do that without overextending for this stock, he shouldn't take too much damage to seal it out. But right now, he, um, Elegant offstage oh, gets the, the air dodge. Why, of course, why not? Why not? Of course. I mean, that, that was definitely the time he needed it. But definitely. It's just, oh, lightning no. loops. Back on stage again. Oh, almost gets that snipe. What's the ledge pressure here? The back air does not connect. Elegant sitting at 189, but the back air from mid stage will not do it just yet. Still save the jump, I believe. Yes, yep. still has the jump. And right now, Eon just doesn't want to overextend. Yes, going to stay. And, you know, you don't really have to overextend. You got Luigi at 200%. Just take your ledge trap. You have forward tilt. It's uh, ridiculously good at ledge trapping, and you can hit. You can even go for the two frame. Yeah, right there you got him because we got the legend of invincibility, but yeah. the fact that it goes under the ledge is so good for him. All right, good tech on Elegant's part. That could have been, if not certain death, uh, lots of damage. So good stuff to him on that. Even his reverse up air back air is not connected on Pichu. He's so small. Okay, going to directional air dodge to the platform there. And right now, Eon just keeping the pressure up. Another forward air to get him off stage. Throwing out the T-Gos to oh, cover low and the down one. air. Dipping low with the edge guard, and you already know Eon's going to be there with that coverage. And solid two stock, two stock there for game number two. Great stuff, man. Really utilizing that Kalos counter pick to a full effect. I love how he was playing on the platform there. Just extended his combo so well. It made edge guarding even easier for, uh, for, for Pichu, man. All right, so I heard Pichu. Definitely, I don't think there's a reason to change here. I, I definitely Wait. think this matchup's very good for Pichu. Wait. Villager. Wait a minute. Is this it? Is this the counter pick? Solo, no. main, solo main Luigi is, is out? With the Villager. Very interesting pick. And like we said, I, I just feel like Pichu Luigi is really hard for Luigi. Uh, this character literally damages itself, so it can get out of your range of the combo. Even when you do get the window, Bro. you don't even get too much like of the combo. I don't know how well practiced this uh, villager is because Eon is actually going on full attack full. He's like, wait, this isn't Luigi? I'm going super in right now. Yeah, but at, at least I feel like uh, villager can recover against Pichu. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, villager is definitely still very edge guardable, but it's not as easy as Luigi. Luigi, ed edge guarding Luigi in this game is like low key almost free. It, it, he has a really bad recovery. Oh, yeah, that side B is free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the axe swing from D. Yo, and it's, uh, it's interesting because we got Elegant playing a character that's a zoner. Yeah. But Elegant, he, uh, as, he doesn't yeah. like to zone you out with stuff. Uh, he doesn't even, he barely likes to. I shout out Elegant when he throws out two fireballs at neutral with with Bro. Luigi. I'm like, yo, Elegant with the I, patience. I definitely slept on this villager. It's 
putting in tons of Ooh, work right now. Ooh, we're getting saucy up in here, dude, dancing on him. Wow. Is that a Fortnite dance, though? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just not go there. Don't, don't go down this road. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, and, wow. uh, yep. Uh, the very last hit of that back there is going to clip him, but, uh. I don't care if you're Luigi, I don't care if you're Villager, I'm Pichu, I'm Edge Guardian. Yeah. What it do. And right now, really great respect ooh. from Eon. The ledge drop, double jump axe would have also hit the tree. So, um, I like Eon just respecting that option there. And, dang, we talked about Pichu dying at, like, 60. I wonder what percent Pichu dies to bowling ball at, like, 20? Dude, he's definitely dead to bowling ball at 84, man. <laughs> There's no way. There's no world in which Pichu Dude, what if, left. what if, like, Pichu gets hit by Bowling Ball Zero and just dies? He Would you feel it. bad? Would no, you feel bad? absolutely no? not. No. <laughs> Yo, we got players out here that want Pichu to die at zero. <laughs> That's how much pain. Who hurt you with Pichu strides? Who hurt you? Tell me. Dude, Who hurt do you? Do I need to say it? No, we already know. <laughs> void, man. <laughs> I don't want to play. Yeah, 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 Void hurt me, too. Yeah, right. you know what? Yeah, I think bowling ball killing Pichu at zero would be pretty fair. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> Balance. Oh. oh, and there's the bowling ball, and they'll definitely seal out this stock at 115. And I like Elegant now, you know, taking his time, setting up the gyroids. Really good stuff. Or the Lloyds. Okay, there's the jab nice. now with Got the respected. finisher. Yep. Okay, setting up the tree. Oh, here comes the axe. Yeah, and you know what? Villager got a tether or like a really slow grab. Well, Luigi Ooh. already has that now, so he's used to it. Wow, Elegant's Villager is clean, dude. Oh, yeah. Um, it's it's funny, actually, because uh, I was talking to him about, like, characters that he has a pocket for, and he did say Villager. So, yeah, I mean, um, he, he definitely has practiced his Villager, but Eon striking back with the forward tilt. I like that it came out in this game too, not like a game five like desperation pick. Yeah, I mean, fun fact: the reason why he has a pocket villager is because he feel like he feels like the Belmonts are so hard to fight as Luigi. Oh yeah, I agree. So he says uh, against Belmonts, he just goes villager in the three. <laughs> so that's really damn good against. Him. Yeah, I feel like villager can play uh, Belmonts game, but just like better, and you counter it. So that's why he has the Villager on deck, and he's using it here against Pichu. And I, I do think Pichu is another one of those characters that can give Luigi a run for his money. Very difficult character to fight as Luigi. And wow, this, look at this Villager going in. Definitely. Uh, Eon, they're going for a uh, Thunder Jones to the jab block, but not getting uh, able to pull it off. Yeah, and Villager is like one of the floatier characters and has that frame three neutral. Oh, that platform saving you, dog. Yeah, and he's trying to grab the bowling ball off the top platform, but I don't know if it's worth it. He's taking tons of percent. Yeah, and look at look at uh Elegant has so much more mix-ups off stage. You can stall with the Lloyd. He uh he just has like really good hitboxes. You can throw out Bear and Bear. It's kinda like we off the pressure. Oh. oh no! The axe! Okay, gonna get grabbed here off stage here. The go away but the tree's set up. Okay, no, but the tree goes down. Oh. The back throw, not gonna come online here, but. Now Eon saw the grab. He knows that he has to avoid that grab. Oh, the run up F2. Yep. Being able to tilt out a dash is so good in this game, especially when your F2 kills. All right. So you're elegant right now. You're down 0 2. Do you stick with the villager? Yeah, do you stick with it? I feel well. like you stick with the villager. I feel I, like I, the I, villager was doing really well. And in the future, you have to look in the long term. You know, Art, unless Elegant is really going to try to make this matchup work this. with Luigi, like, you should at least go down with Village. That was last talk, last hit. You did really well. He's staying out. Luigi is on the bench. For Elegant now. can't hear me, by the way. You're pretty loud, dude. <laughs> and he has, he has his head like, Come on, man. Four, me right. and Elegant, we have such a strong connection and such <laughs> a strong friendship bond. I'm just telepathically telling him, like, stay with That's the Village, dog. by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying. Stay with the villager, dog. Okay, okay. I, I don't have psychic powers. Spoilers. Dang, you couldn't fool me, man. Like, <laughs> that, that was a really good read. All right, but, so right uh, now, I'm glad, like I, like I said again, I'm glad he's sticking with the villager because at the end of the day, you're probably going to end up playing this in the future. Oh, oh okay, we're, but we're villager. We can yeah, live that. We live those. Yeah. Okay, there's the down throw into the fire. Tries to get the forward tilt as well. Down tilt got nerfed in terms of startup for villager, but I the up air is still really quick. So, okay, right now, and yes, again, Villager's just one of those characters. I feel like a lot of projectile characters, one thing that's not mentioned as much is not only can you pressure your opponent offstage with the projectiles, but when you're coming back, when you're offstage coming back to the stage, oh, 
the ledge, re-grab gets blown back. Elegant thought he had a read on Eon's recovery, but just turned the tables on him. Yeah, blown back might be an understatement, dude. He got annihilated, and just like that, Eon gonna take that first stock. But yeah, I mean, Villager just having the room to throw out projectiles as people are trying to set up off stage versus him, that's a very strong tool to have in this game. It okay, has the pocket. Oh, covers the roll, man. Eon just... A lot of things are working out for him right now. The back throw not strong enough. Has this, oh, tries to get the jump read here. Trying to get this triple turn up on the up air, but Eon doing such a good job of avoiding all these kill moves. Yeah, it's just, he's threading the needle so well. Like, Elliot's just trying to get something to connect that can put him back in this game, bro. Ooh, but right. the forward air is going to take it. Don't have to deal with your body, just eat the sling shot. Almost at 100%, though. Getting really tough here. I know Pichu oh, can but, die really I mean, early, but... Pichu might die to a oh, bowling wow, ball at this point. A bowling ball? Juice. Bowling ball. Come on, Elegant. You know it. You already know it. Okay. I wonder. I, I, 42 I, with range? Maybe. Dude. Pichu's super light. By, especially by the edge. I feel like by the edge, the bowling ball will kill. Ooh. Oh! Dude, right. yeah, that definitely would have killed. No, maybe not. I don't know. That was good DI on that part. Ooh, but wow, that, that bowling ball gave him the momentum good. he needed. Oh, directional air dodge to the floor. And... Eon gonna pick it up. Ooh, right, get off of me. Option. Ooh, pivot grab is gonna get punished, but wow. still staying in the game here. Dude, Elegant doing punished. a really good job bringing the stock back. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice pocket. Ooh, forces the directional air dodge with the pocket uh, T jolt. Yeah, we really wanna see him utilize that pocket a little bit more in this matchup. Why? Oh, no shield poke, but wow, he's safe on Dude, that. Dude, Villager barely moves when uh, she's doing the rapid jab, but that's crazy. Oh, wow, didn't such get good the dash pressure. forward. Yeah. And like, oh. Wow, run up up tilt again. So quick. So clutch, man. That that move is so good. And uh, Pichu has a pretty good dash, too. So, like, that range is a burst option you really have to respect. Okay, just trying to see if you can get the axe of player or the tree. Okay, got one chop set up here. Oh. Elegant reaching for the second chop on, not the tree, but Pichu. Oh, yeah. Villager does have down smash. One of the OG grounded moves. Yeah, if he can get some work, it's a little bit slow. Eon's okay. weaving in and out of here, just seeing the hits he can, just following up appropriately. Yeah, Eon just whittling away here at Elegant, trying to get that down air spike as well. And at this point, Pichu Ooh. damaging himself doesn't matter, but going to oh, get the down tilt. Yeah. And that move definitely oh. going to hit below the ledge because, you know, Village is pulling a weed out of the ground, you know? All right, back, back in effect. Like I like how Eon backed off that situation. Knew he could possibly just like take a lot of damage there if he got hit by the tree. Cause like axe into the tree usually combos as well. Yeah, air shield breaks. Oh yes, and you don't want that. Okay, yeah. right now, Elegant in a very similar position he was in second stock, but we saw him what he did that second stock. Brought it right back to last stock or brought it back to last hit situation there on that second stock. So he can definitely do it again. Let drop double jump. T jolt, yes, very strong option yeah. here. Gonna back get the throw. back throw, setting the up the tree. Uh oh. To avoid oh. That situation. Doesn't go for the up air, goes for the axe instead. Maybe thought it would hit above the platform there, but doesn't. Get oh, hit. he jumped into it! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> With the fist bump. Oh my goodness. I did it, guys! I did it! I killed Pichu the at 50. Platform drop bowling ball, the classic. <laughs> The classic build. Eon was like, what, at 50, 60%? Yeah, he center jumped stage. right into it. Yep. Oh, yeah. my God. I feel like the crowd is just, like, on Elegant's side. They're like, yes! You killed Biju at 50, 60%. Yes! I think this wants to be more games, honestly. Oh, yeah. People love Biju. Give love me more. And I, I'm not going to lie, man. This is Elegant, this Elegant's Elegant villager are... looking, uh, looking pretty hot right now. Not like going to lie. It's just a character I just didn't expect from him. Oh, yeah. It's like the complete opposite of the way he usually plays. But, but it, it's cool because you're seeing it in, like, a pressure style. You know what I mean? Like, right. he's still setting up Lloyds and stuff, but it's cool because Elegant, I feel like Elegant just loves coming in with the Lloyd and, like, pressuring. You know, right there we see him sitting with the Lloyd, coming in with Nutra. So I, I think he likes that pressure aspect of Villager where you set up pressure and then you come in with it. Right. But now we're seeing the counterfeit from Eon with the Fox. Dang. And right Oh, okay. This is game five, by the way. Yep. Game number five. And right now, Elegant... Has the villager out, but like you said, Eon has the counter pick advantage. Is gonna lock um, Elegant into the villager and bring out the fox. And this matchup was traditionally known not to be so good for villager in the past game. Yeah, it's just very easy for foxes. Don't break all these Lloyd setups. You just get in there and come with character really heavily. Yep, and Eon has a lot of experience 
against Aardvark in this matchup. So, in, in Smash 4 anyway, I'm not too sure if they play in this game. But, I mean, both the characters look still pretty similar, or at least the archetypes are. So I, I still assume that Fox is very good in this matchup, and the Nair to the up smash. Theon will go ahead and prove my point and take this pretty first lock pretty seamlessly. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get something started here. Got the up air juggles on deck. Ooh, trying to call it a dash in with another board, but I don't blame Look, look Vill Villager barely moves when this rattle jab. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, Fox. And we see time and time again, right? Elegant sets up the Lloyd, tries to get the tree set up, but Eon is playing Fox. Like you said, very fast character. Jumps are fast. Fast fall. Fast gets right back to the ground. Can just maneuver around all these things that um, Elegant tries to set up. And then they'll say, all right, cool. I moved around this setup. Now I'm in your face. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. I'm right next to you. Eon's playing so smart around the tree as well. It's like either shoots lasers at it or just like covers it with like a hitbox. Yep. So right now, Elegant trying to make the dream work right now. But... Man, Eon making it really difficult riding this Lloyd in. Just going to jump right oh, over and get that punish. Yes. And yeah. I'm pretty sure Elegant didn't want to hop on the Lloyd there. Usually not the greatest option. Yeah, it's very easy to punish that. And man, right now Elegant, I mean, you don't want to go out like a three-stop, bro. Come on, you got this. Okay, back throw's going to yeah. close now. You already know Elegant's like, psych, I'm going to win this game, dog. I mean, he's definitely trying to fight with everything he has here to bring this to a set win, but man, it's going to be so hard. Especially with a yeah. player like Eon. Like the way he plays Fox is like so defensive at first. <laughs> like Reflected the one laser that he fogged in. That's so funny. Eon's not going to give Elgin very many opportunities to just like come back on him. He's just going to keep playing very safe like he yes. usually does. Okay, now Eon knows he doesn't have to really commit in to Elegant only when he needs that and finds his opening. You see him dashing and moving around and now coming into Elegant and just so much pressure. The forward smash oh, is going to do it. Jump. That's going to be a game five win.